Hey there, it's Danielle Wiley from Sway Group coming to you with a two for Tuesday. Um, today, as you guys all know, we have the New Hampshire primaries. And um, in light of that, I wanted to chat about a pretty interesting article that was published last week in the Daily Beast about the fact that Mike Bloomberg um, has ventured into influencer marketing to promote his campaign. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen it sooner. It um, At this point, it looks like he's the only one doing it. Um, the There are some things that are kind of questionable about, it seems kind of like an experiment. They were offering just $150 um, for influencers with up to 100,000 followers on Instagram, $150 is is not enough for, for most of those folks. And um, throwing it out to a marketplace for something as delicate as, throwing a campaign out to a marketplace for something as delicate as a political campaign seems a little bit um, risky to me, but who knows, we'll see. I have no idea how well his test went, so we'll, we'll see if this continues to develop. Um, but that takes me to the second piece of my two for Tuesday. So what's really interesting about what he did was the $150 wasn't just for influencers to post on their own profile. They actually were trying to get owned content for the campaign to use, um, using real people to share what they think um, about Bloomberg as a candidate. What we see typically is that content that's owned by um, the brand, in this case, the candidate, if it's created by an influencer with a significant following and is going to be attached to their name, should cost a lot more. So in this case, $150 is really low, even if it's a standard influencer campaign with the influencers posting on their own feeds. The fact that this content is going to be owned and repurposed into ads, they didn't mention if it was just digital ads or perhaps even traditional ads running on TV, which would be way more. Um, just kind of concerned about who's protecting the influencers on that one and whether they're getting paid what they should be. And uh, that's one of the things that concerns me about some of the marketplaces out there is that there's um, there's just not a ton of oversight in, in making sure that brands are paying what they should pay for the type of quality content that, that they're seeking to get. Um, and that just opens up a whole other can of worms, but for another time. So anyway, that's just something interesting going on in this super crazy political season. will be interesting to see if um, more influencer marketing comes our way as the, as the election heats up.